Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. How is everyone doing today? Um, the whole team's back out with another episode of The Hoedown. That was a smooth introduction, actually. Um, you acted like you were going to say something then. You looked at me and went, that's why I stopped talking. Oh, what? Did I? I don't think I even looked at you. Okay, you did. That was a smooth introduction, actually. Um... Okay, if you're new here, please click that subscribe button. If you're old, welcome back. Um, and if you're new also, hello, welcome. Um, please make sure that if you like it, you leave a, you leave Why a thumbs up. Why are you being such a bitch Make sure today? you subscribe. We well, are being such a bitch today. What? I don't take the piss out of you and the way you dress and sound. I think you look really good today. Shock. How is everyone doing today? Thank you for coming back. If you like the video, please leave a thumbs up on it. And if you like what you're watching, tune back in at the same time tomorrow. As you know, it's Monday to Friday at 8 o'clock-ish. That's when we post, so tune back in for then. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend? Right, so Oscar, what have you got to bring to the table today? Oh, I've got an interesting for you today, actually. Okay. It's one of those, like, how much do you agree with the statement? How much do you agree that Luca is a So let's talk about that. How much do you agree that Luca is a so I'm gonna actually bring a serious one because that doesn't help our video, does it? That sort of question. Okay, this one's actually kind of deep, but I'm up for it. I'll ride if you're ready. Can a person be happy if they've never experienced sadness? For sure. You don't know what happiness is if you've never had sadness. You do. You happiness don't. is involuntary. You oh, see. For, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. Dap that. You're no. for sure. Everything, what? Everything Everything's you annoying right now you. Is annoying me. I'm just here, man. I'm bringing the good vibes. For sure, you can be happy. It's like, can you ever be hungry if you've never been full? Can you ever be full? Can you ever be. F yeah. Can you ever be hungry if you've never been full? No, because if you're happy, you know that that's happiness because of sadness. We're not talking about like biological release of like dopamine or, or like anything but that, like that. Okay, I wasn't either. But you could measure it by that. Yeah, but we're not talking about that. We're talking about like, can a person feel happy if he's never felt sadness? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, but... Oh. <sighs> what, you disagree? Do you think they can't? They can't. Grow the fuck up, mate. You can't understand happiness if you've never been sad, though. I bloody can. If someone brings out, I don't know, a big... Knickerbocker glory. I know that I feel good. I like whatever's happening. That's yeah, happiness. You've got, yeah, but you've got nothing to compare it to. No. Yeah, but that's exactly the same with the hunger thing. You're not hungry because you've never compared it to being full. Well, you are hungry. And that is what you call a checkmate and a wrap-up. Okay. Would well, you agree? Can't be bothered to talk about that one with you, actually. What? <laughs> In my mind, if I've never experienced sadness, I'll just be like, this is just my constant state. It's like oh. what people call averageness. I feel like happiness is relative. It is, actually. No. It is. Oh. But, no, for example, ah. well, if you're like... You're putting a bad taste in my if mouth. If someone's like laughing and stuff. Ruined it. Ruined it. Ruined if someone's it. laughing or something. Oh, that's ridiculous. That is, that's classic. All of a sudden, you're saying something that I don't agree with. Oh, next question. If someone's like literally laughing, you've classed them as happy. Let's take it back. Rewind to where I said, wrap it, checkmate. Next question. When you go to the movie theatre, which armrest is oh, yours? I need both. Well, how do you do it? Well, I well, do decide both. it. Both are mine, in my opinion. Like, it's annoying, isn't it? You sort of... It's a ridiculous design, really. You're so close to someone. It should be double armrest. To be honest, I haven't actually been to one where I've been sat next to strangers in a while either. True, actually. I think most of the time you sort of bank on their being your mates and then space the only way to do it would be you have one each probably but there's one on each end which means that there's someone in the, in the middle that's gonna have both or zero or no no everyone has the right and the person on the end has the left so the conclusion to that question get, get on the, end, the seat. end seat well left seat because i would just work on the basis that people are right-handed they're more likely to go like that more people are right-handed so at least yeah. If you get the far left seat of a row, at least you know you're getting the left and you're probably going to get the right as well. We crack that for you, buddy. This one is strange. Why is it that milk doesn't go bad inside a cow, but if you have it outside of the fridge, does it go bad? That's wrong. Why is it wrong? The cow has to be milked, otherwise it goes ill. So it's fresh milk being produced inside the cow. It doesn't just like produce milk and then it sits there. It's like a mum in her uh, 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 milk in her, in her voluptuous breast. The milk's reproduced and the baby uh, removes it from the nipple or potentially a pump him. Yeah, a pump a pump a sucker pump sucker Or a lucky lad. It's cows consuming it if it's inside the mum, not humans Like if humans are consuming it, it's milked regularly, but it would probably last overnight 
and it wouldn't go bad. There's a lot of cleaning process from milk to human consumption. Okay, I'm gonna ask a different one then. Yeah, I've got too many answers in here. So this is like a statistic, yes. and I want to know whether you think it's true or not. Do you know whether it's true or not? Yeah. Oh, so it's a true or false? Uh, yes. Sounds like you're lying, but okay. I'm not lying. Do you think it's true? It is a true or false. Okay. I'll take it with a pinch of salt. Go on. Do you think it's true that five out of four people have a problem with fractions? <laughs> That's what you wanted to end on. <laughs> that was a good one. That's or, just a little something to sort of put a smile on your face. Actually, though, with regards to statistics, I don't eighteen percent of people anything are anything more likely to believe a statistic if it's got a percentage in it. Let that sit with you. With the Huggins, I just saw <laughs> it everywhere. <laughs> yes, yes. That's a large percentage, though, isn't it? It is believable, though. Yeah, it is. I would believe it if it's got a percentage in it. Yes, that's why I've given you the stat. Uh, anyway, please leave a thumbs up, like it, subscribe, tell your mums, tell your dads. Arrivederci. Mwah. If I take you down, would you really hold me down and be your best friend?